Oh! Now let me heal a couple times. Oh no. Ooh. Okay, just let yourself fall. And everything should be okay. Great! Okay, down in the hole, we have here a hole that goes even deeper. My god, it goes deep. Why is it light? Did I went down there? Looks like I went down here. What? I don't remember. Ouch. Ouch. What the freak? Wait a second, what? What is this? What is this madness? Wait a second, I have been here. Where the frick am I? Wait a second. Okay, I am confused. I am confused. Oh. Hey, big hat. I'm so excited. This is going to be the best. Are you ready to watch to what to watch my play? Yes. Get ready. This is a girl with a big hat. There is a girl with a big hat. She's tall. She runs around everywhere. She does everything. Woohoo! There is this big gate. It's huge. It's shiny. Where is it anyways? That girl's nose. Because when you're ready, she takes you. Then you live with her. It's long. Everyone else is sad. Then, boom. Big lights. And a big rumble. Explosions. Wind. Dust. Smoke everywhere. Everything is quiet for a second. Oh no. When we don't get to see our friend again, what, then we don't get to see our friend again. That's when the real pain starts. Oh, the end. Thank you for coming. Oh, my love. Sweetheart. Oh. Tot, I do not know what to think, Sylvia. I do not know how to feel. My gut is a, is a swarm of indistinct emotions, like fish beneath the eyes. On the one flipper, this statue is unquestionably an impressive display of proudness. On the other, it represents an ugly history. What history is that? The story goes that this statue was selected by many hands under, under much terrorists. They say maybe turn her great metal powers on the people, that she wielded them as tools. And thus, the crux of my confusion. Can I admire the, war, the artwork in isolation from the co context of its creation? Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Well, I will say yes, but at the same time... I don't know. I don't know, haven't we all got enough to worry about without adding philosophical quantities to the mix? Ha! <laughs> Ignore philosophy at your own peril, Sylvia. This is the entire purpose of art, to confront us with questions that have no easy answers. The alternative is an unexcelled life devoid of true grace. Also, do not forget, where I am concerned, they are religious concerns, not merely aesthetic ones. And so, I find I cannot see beauty in the creation that is tainted by such ego and cruelty as this. At best, perhaps I can learn from this technical prophecy. If nothing else, it is an impressive one in that regard. Yes, I have heard that before. I have heard it mentioned before. What is it? Um, excuse me? As I imagine, you know nothing. Dupre is not alone. He is but the peak of a pyramid, a vast group in which powerful people take part. A society acting in secret, ruled by a single sacred law. See that no one knows. I was part of it. Dupre himself recommended me. We gather every month, what we saw you cannot imagine. A curtain of normalcy protects the mind from something, an outer something. The fog of the veil protected us. But through the veil we could peek into, out into the abyss. We could know of the unspeakable shapes that ride beyond, a black nothingness entirely full of horrors.
we could never cross the threshold. What we saw was forbidden. Look at me. Forbidden! I could not bear it, any I could not bear it anymore, so I ran. I ran and I hid from them. It was too late to run or to forget. I think I will go for the Tom of Fertility. Life, I would say, always finds a way. From the depths of the deepest ocean to the crags of the highest mountain, nature's fertile blessing flourishes and grows. The truly wise will harness this power and sow seeds of growth and healing throughout their lands. Oh, so beautiful.